Are you ever confused when someone asks you what it is that you do for a living? Or they may come up to you and say, hey, are you, are you back working these days? What is it that you do? Most of us freeze. Most of us get to the point where we're like, oh God, what do I say? Do I say I'm network marketing? Do I say that I'm home business owner? Do I say, do I verbally vomit my whole product information onto these people? And that's where we go wrong, right? That's where we all go wrong. So today I want to talk to you about your elevator pitch or your 30 second spiel that you give to people when they ask what you're doing. Thanks for joining me. I'm Janelle from Janellema.com. And with today's uh, video about elevator pitch, have a think to yourself what you can say to someone within 30 seconds of them asking you what is it you do for a living and they call it obviously an elevator pitch because you know if you're um, stuck somewhere with a whole heap of people and or you know you may be at a barbecue or something and they ask what it is you do these days with your life you really want to have something that just rolls off the tongue right something that just um, that you can say easily that is sincere and that makes them have curiosity so that's the first thing you want to do is give them curiosity, is have something where um, it sparks their curiosity and they go, I want to know more about that. So you've got to ask yourself, what is it that you want to say to these people? And one of the biggest uh, ways to work this out is to find your favorite part of the company. What is your favorite part of the company? Is it the compensation plan? Is it residual income? Is it your products? Have they changed your life? Um, is it something where you've realized you're now working from home earning basically a full-time income on very part-time hours? You know, what is that for you? Have a think about what that is for you. And then you need to obviously craft your elevator pitch or craft your invite to look at something else for these people. So why not go through some things where, um, you know, you work out how you can get these people to understand what it is, but you need to also trigger their psychology to go, can I do this? And is it worth it for me? Could I put this into my life as well? So you've got to have that psychology going where it draws them in, something which makes it engaging, something that's curiosity based and something where they go, oh, wow, I want to learn more about that or I want to find out more about that to see if it does suit my lifestyle as well. So um, some people are uncomfortable with saying the whole I'm in network marketing. Some people do have that um, that fear of saying that because it can tend to push people away straight away. And so why not look at your favorite part of the company or the industry or your products that you can use instead? So um, just to give you a few ideas, you may you may want to look at something that's really helpful and engaging to the person at that time. And obviously it depends on the person at that time to who you're speaking to as to what your elevator pitch may be. But it should always be a certain you know type of elevator pitch that you then just change for certain people. So my elevator pitch um, for me personally is all about the stay-at-home mum. So I want to teach other stay-at-home mums how to get up off the couch, find their identity again, just like I did, and bring back some purpose into their life. And I can say that very quickly and easily. Um, it may not trigger someone if they're a male or if they're someone who doesn't have um, kids at home with them. Or I can say something around, um, you know, I'm, I help other stay-at-home mums to stay at home full-time, long-term and do a business very part-time in the nooks and crannies of their life. Um, and doing saying things like that is just that psychology trigger that goes, oh, what is that? You know, if, if she's doing that, why can't I do that as well, you know? So some other examples which I got um, today, which I really wanted to go through with you, which can help you work out your elevator pitch. Um, one of them here is, I found a way to get my identity back, have purpose in life, and now I help other mums do the same. So that's one that I can use as well. Instead of just saying, I do this, I can say that I found a way, you know, and, and saying to them that I found a way, they may go, well, I can find that way too if you help me. Um, another one could be I've partnered with a company that have products that have completely changed my life and my family's life. And now I want to show other people how they can do the same thing as well. And that's obviously a product based um, elevator pitch because you, you obviously love these products for a reason. They have obviously impacted you in some way, especially if they're weight loss or if they're, um, you know, they've helped you with energy or sleep or something like that. Of course, make that into your elevator pitch and turn it around so you can say, these products have completely cha changed my life because of X, Y, Z. And now I show others how to do the same. Or now I'm on a mission to get these products into as many people as possible and help them to change their health as well. Um, you could even go into ones that are based on the business side of things. So you could say, I found a way to build a business from home. 
Um, that doesn't take away a lot of my attention from my family, but I can do it when my family doesn't need me. Or, you know, if you're looking at ways where um, you want to bring in the whole, you know, I do this part time with a full time income, um, or I, I've, I'm doing this to bring my partner home from his job or something like that. Put that into your elevator pitch as well, because you don't know if the person you're speaking to would love to have their partner at home with them. Or if they're like me and they're a stay-at-home mum and they want to be a stay-at-home mum full-time, long-term, why not trigger that within them? Because that's what's going to draw them in. And that's what's going to create that curiosity, right? Because the curiosity is where they're going to say, can you tell me more about that? Um, now, obviously, when you're, taught, when you're going through this and crafting your own elevator pitch, you want, to, you want to put down, number one, what is it that you already do and where it is that you want to go in your future or what is it you want to do next. So that's where you can say, um, you know, I've been doing this for X, Y, Z time for two years and, and now um, in the next 12 months, I know I can bring my partner home by, by keeping on doing this sort of business or something like that, you know, where you're um, showing them what the next move is for you, which could be what also is the next move for them, which could really help them out as well. Um, and obviously, when you're doing this, you've got to do it effectively. It's got to be something that does trigger them. So don't answer any questions right there and then. If they ask you, okay, so what is it? That's when you want to say, well, okay, it may or may not be for you, but let's take a serious look at this and, and get together later on to talk about it a bit more. Or you could say, um, you know, if it may or may not be for you. Um, but if that, if what I said just triggered something in you, let me send you a video or a tool that can help you understand what this is. And that's where you're using that third party, the tool, the video, the resource, um, a three-way call, whatever that may be. That's where you want to start using that. But you've got to get that elevator pitch down pat first before you can go into the invitation. Because if you just go in and ask people, hey, do you want to make some extra money or do you want to make some money in your part time? You haven't triggered something in them um, emotionally that's going to draw them in to want to listen. Or you haven't um, created enough curiosity for them to go, well, what is she actually talking about when she says that she can stay at home with her kids long term, full time? What is that? You know, so that's where you've got to trigger that emotion for them. And by doing so, um, you know, your goal should be to create curiosity first and foremost. Then it should be letting them know if they can do it or not. So uh, they need to feel that they can do it or not. So you need to let them know that, you know, I've never done this before or this is something that's only new for me. I've only done it for a year or two or three um, and it's completely changing our lives or completely changing the way that we live our life or our vision for our future. And putting that in there at the end, somewhere along the line in the end, uh, you will find that um, that is what makes them go, well, maybe I can do this too. And um, and obviously also saying the part-time residual, if that's what drives you, talk about that. You know, if, if you can talk about the fact that um, you can do this part-time, you can do this with a residual income that comes in month after month without you needing to put in uh, loads amounts of effort. And obviously we need to put in effort for this business. You know, it is network marketing. We are networking. We are marketing with people. We need to work out um, how many hours we can do this and craft this for our families and for ourselves. But you can do that very part time and create a full time income if you do it in the right way. And so in, I'm going to um, get a resource for you guys. I'm going to put it up on my JanelleLama.com website that can give you some extra scripts to help you craft your uh, your elevator pitch and get you um, out there talking to more people without that fear because it is a lot of fear, isn't it? It's a lot of fear when people say, what is it that you actually do? And you then go, oh, what do I say? Is it? Do I say I'm network marketing? Do I say that I, um, um, what products do I use? <laughs> you know, and you start to verbally vomit over people because you're very unsure. So the more you can craft your elevator pitch or the more you can craft your um your lead up pitch to your invite, then of course, the more confident people feel in wanting to know more from you. There's that trigger, you know, that psychology trigger and that curiosity that you want to um, create to actually get them to want to look at it more. I hope that was a value to you to today, guys. Please share this with your teams if it was a value to you and you feel that they will get some value as well. Please like or comment this if you feel that there's something in there that resonated with you and I'll see you all on the next video. See ya.